What are you doing? I'm calling you, buddy. The man of the hour. The- man, I, you know what? I am just glad we were able to have this podcast today <laughs> well, with me. Yeah. You mean well, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, well, we You're didn't. Happy we about didn't. It? Are you, no, are you no, sad no, about this? No, I'm just reason? saying that we're, we're, we, uh, we missed an episode. So maybe everyone thinks you died. And so this is an extra oh. big relief. Suspense, though. That you know, <laughs> building you kept everybody suspense. on there. Well, you got you had travel issues, and we were like, I was like trying to figure out when we would actually do the podcast. It was like we we had time to do it before the show, uh, you know, right. the day before. That but that sense. makes that makes no sense. So, right. uh, and then you you were gonna fly out like that, like right after the show, like within an hour or two, you were gonna fly right, out, right. and then you didn't, and then it was, but we had gone out to eat and all that, and then. Then you were flying out the next morning, so there was no time to fit it in. There was just no time. So, right. yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So everyone tuning in, you survived your big wrestling match with Billy Fives this I weekend. Did. I am alive. You're how? how uh, by the way, I'll just give you a warning. I did invite Marco to pop in, so he might show up at any minute. Um, because he was there I, too. I mean, listen, not for nothing. There's I, there's about a twenty percent chance he shows up. No, 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 no. I called already, and oh, yeah. uh, and I heard him clear it with his wife so he's on. oh okay okay i was gonna i was gonna, either he has a babysitter or he cleared it with the wife yeah 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 I, <laughs> so all right there he is yeah he got the he got the clearance from the wife he's over here oh he got the clearance okay yeah. all right so Wait, did, did he tell her he was doing the podcast or did he like make up something like hey we're out of toilet paper i hear ben has extra let me go over there and grab some i'm going out for cigarettes guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> brother 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 <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is gonna be fucking fun so so let's let's take take up anthony take us through the journey of uh of from like uh touchdown in south florida because we know you were we we did the one on fr- uh, thursday where you were like mr anxiety shitting yourself with diarrhea have you guys already talked about how we almost didn't get on the plane we haven't talked about anything oh man this is gonna be so good yeah 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 you came in at the right time i yeah, did i did yeah, yeah. And that's, like, that's what they call me right time so, prime oh yeah you right missed a, didn't prime. you miss a flight or something all right so here goes the story yeah. so i was flying standby uh, because, you know, my brother works for the airlines. Right. So my flight was at 6 a.m. on Friday morning. Well, I got to the airport, usual, you know, hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes early, and the security line was absolutely absurd. It was into the other building, like at the Atlanta airport. They had one line open. It took me uh, two hours to get through security, so I missed my flight, my 6 a.m. flight. Well... My brother was like, the next flight's at, you know, 1030, but it's full. So, like, you may not get on. So that's when I started letting you guys know, hey, this is my flight. Flight's full. I'm, you know, let's hope it just doesn't go down. And <laughs> yeah, we're, you guys we're, agree we're all, with me. We're all actively, like, working against this even right. happening. Right. <laughs> we're all such lazy right. pieces of shit. <laughs> well, you don't want to wrestle because you're not in any shape. And me and Marco right. can't be bothered to go to this event. <laughs> we don't want to go. I don't, I don't want to spend any money. I don't want to. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. Oh, I, by the way, speaking of spending money, let's just uh, get. You're gonna, are you going to go in hot with this? Let's you're just do the. the let's, just, let's just do it now. Okay. So I know that you were bitching about, oh. at least you didn't have to pay for a sitter, but you had to go out of your way to arrange for someone to watch the kid. Uh-huh. You, you, and, you and your wife come with, with, with us and we go do the show. It's true. It's a charity show. Audio missing. And then when we went out to dinner, like there's another expense, the whole like fucking whatever. How much was your dinner? With you and the wife, uh, sixty something bucks with like with tip was oh. like seventy five. Oh, that's a shame because yeah. uh, because <laughs> because you had someone that was only willing to wait till like eight thirty or whatever, and you guys had to split early, and so you had to get your check and all that. You missed out on Billy paying for everyone. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> what a rib! <laughs> what a rib! <laughs> Holy shit.
Oh man! No, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Listen, this look. This is like instance number four hundred in the like th- two or three months that you've had the baby. That the baby's fucked you in the ass. <laughs> 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 now, now here's the best part, Marco. I, me and Ben had a conversation about how good the burger was, and Ben said it was even better because it was free, <laughs> and that sparked him to go. That you pay Billy. We started talking about Billy paid for us and how you had to leave. Yeah, and you paid your bill and you missed out on the free meal. Yeah. Like what a rip! What a rip! <laughs> I, I can't get it right no matter what I do, man. Tremendous. No. <laughs> So, yeah, oh, you were ten minutes away from a free meal. Ah, oh, god away. damn it! <laughs> well, maybe half an hour, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so back. That's got to suck to like to get to the airport for six thirty flight. Right. And Mi- fu- and the next one's not till like ten thirty. Missing planes suck so bad. That's that's the worst. Oh, it was horrible. But- like like if only you'd known, you could have slept in for. Four more hours and caught the ten o'clock one. Right, right. Yeah. So you know, whatever. I I was just hoping that like they would say the airport's shutting down. Nobody's flying today. Uh, we're actually closing <laughs> till Monday. Like that's what I was hoping for. But you guys were hoping for that too. Yes, we were. Because you didn't want to go to the show. Nope. Because right. we didn't want to see. Not only that, but there's always people there at those indie shows that we don't right. want any part of. Like Lou Spector, who was there. Um, oh no! Let's not do this. Couple, no, let's not do this. Uh, well, we got to oh, tell all the stories. We're, we're gonna, oh, oh, we're gonna hit on that. For we'll sure. hit on all of it because you even have a story about Billy and Lou. So, all right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So we were all grumbling about having to go, but I knew once we went, we would have fun, regardless right. of the surroundings, and uh, and then whatever. Yeah, we'll fine, my yeah. wife, right. my, my wife shared, uh, my wife shared on the Facebook right before we left the uh, the Bob's Burger meme of. Uh, of Bob going, well, I'll go, but I'm gonna bitch the entire time, and it's a hundred percent me, hundred percent me, because I was like Ben had to, Ben, Ben had to like guilt me into like doing this. I didn't even guilt me, but he just, I was just like, I have to do this. I said I was gonna do this. I was like, why can't my friends like you can't, you can't? I wish you guys would have forgotten. Well, like, here's the thing. You know? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like uh, in, in our little group, it's like. We can't single out Blake for being the bad guy for not coming to see his friend yeah. when he comes right. to town to wrestle yeah. if you also decided yeah. to not do it. And, and listen, listen, it ultimately was a fun time, but only because of, you know, really just the situation right. with Billy and all yeah. that. Yeah. So, right. plus, plus, who doesn't want to be better than Blake? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so he's at the airport, he finally gets on the flight. Right, so I get on this. I finally, they tell me, hey, two people did not show up for the flight. We can only fit two people on, and one was another pilot flying, and me. I'm telling you, man, you could have just, and you probably should have j- for your TikTok fame. You should have just had the anti-mask rant. You should have just went crazy. Um, well, you know, I I did want to come and, and hang out. Like that was the other thing. Like like it, I was willing to to you know. Face my death, the chance. Ready. You know, if you so, want, if you wanted to just to come down and hang out, and you didn't chance, want to wrestle, on the plane. you you well, yeah, but you also could have like faked a heart condition or something. I mean, it's you got all the symptoms anyway, so like Billy would have understood. No, he wouldn't. Have. Yeah, yeah, sure he would. <laughs> right, he could have come with. He could have come with all the notes. <laughs> I tried to finish that without. He could add a note from the doctor. <laughs> he could add a, a note yeah. from the doctor, his mom, uh, work. Fuck everything. that, man! Like Fauci could have personally escorted you to the building, and Billy, that's great. I'm kicking him. He would have <laughs> he kicked him too, probably. He kicked Fauci first. <laughs> Billy was in a kicking mood. By the way, I watched a video today, and right. when he first kicks you, bro, like you can quite clearly just hear me breaking down in laughter. Oh, yeah. oh, we'll get to that because I watched it today as well. <laughs> so did Blake, by the way. <laughs> oh, fuck him. <laughs> he, he let you know you guys only wrestled six minutes. Uh, let me, hold on. We're jumping ahead here. Let me <laughs> take those battle on the board. Uh, Blake's going to be buried easily two more times in this podcast. <laughs> okay, so we, we so, finally get you to South Florida. Well, no. Right, I get there, whatever. Well, you know, I can finally get there. We know that I'm there. It's going to happen. 
Uh, originally, <laughs> Billy wanted to meet Saturday. Right, right. I was, I was like, I was legitimately nervous. I was nervous because I'm fat. I'm not in shape, and Billy is a mean son of a bitch. Uh, and Billy started texting me uh, Saturday night, and he was like drunk, so he was like being really mean, and he was like. I'm drunk. I'm gonna kill you tomorrow. You're mm. fat. I'm bringing a scale to the ring. You're one <laughs> pound over to the weight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just hit you with a chair. Like he's like, you know, your family's gonna be upset. Like say all this crazy shit, right? And, and I'm like, one hand, I'm like, oh, he's Billy being Billy. And the other hand, I'm like, he's really drunk. This is scary, right? So, because you don't, you know, Billy drunk is scary. I would imagine. I've never even seen him. We, we saw him, uh, you know. Kind of drunk, I guess, that one time, Ben. But drunk on death's door. I, I've, <laughs> I've gone out drinking with him several times, and I've never noticed a change. But I, I, I feel like everything. He's this like immortal creature <laughs> that's indestructible. So it takes more alcohol than the bar basically could serve him in a timely fashion right. to get him and keep him really, really drunk. Like he's just right. indestructible. Yeah, that's that's right. a, that's a really fairly accurate that, yeah. depiction. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. So anyway, like Saturday night, he's blowing me up, texting me. Well, when Sunday comes around, I woke up. I was I was nervous. I was like, I wasn't even talking. Like I was just silent. I was like in my head. I was like, and even more so because I didn't think I thought I was gonna just have a heart attack and die in the ring. Because uh, I know I'm fat. Like you know, I I I know it. Um, so what any good fat person would do before they're supposed to wrestle. Billy Fives, I went and had macadamia and coconut French toast and uh, eggs and, and, and an omelet and sausage. I, I ate like a fucking pig in the morning because if I was going to go, I was going to be like, happy. He food. took like 10 shots of maple syrup. <laughs> right, right. Because I was like, if this isn't going to be it, I'm going to at least <laughs> You fucking die. last meal? <laughs> this was last right. meal. Yeah. <laughs> so... I'm driving to the building. Um, he tells me to be there at 2 o'clock. Then he texts me and it says, hey, we're, we got moved from 1st to 3rd. Um, and I said, well, cool. The GPS says I'll be there at 2.30. So now I'm late. And he goes, you're 30 minutes late. He texts me back. And I said, well, yeah, it's traffic, you know. And I'm now I'm thinking, shit, I'm starting off bad and 30 minutes late. Well, it was 2.32 as I turned down the thing. He texted me, where are you? Yeah. So – I think he was thinking maybe I didn't show up. I don't even know. <laughs> He's going to have to chase Possib after you. Listen, it's a possibility that I had to have crossed his mind. <laughs> right. And, so, and let's uh, be it, honest. It's real. Yeah, let's be honest. It's a fair possibility. A hundred percent. So as, it was 2.32 as I turned down the thing. And I got out of the car. And he was like, hey, you're here. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, good. You're going to die. I was like, oh, he's not even being nice already. So we... Uh, we go, like, in the back, and, you know, in wrestling, let's break the kayfabe here. You know, you talk over matches sometimes, and, it, like, you know, the, the beasts and trevors of the world, you know, have to, you know, take out the notebook and go through word for word what they're going to do. But, you well, know, you, I... You, you, you came to me, and you, like, after your guy's match, when you were just kind of hanging out afterwards, before the show is over, you're, tell, you're telling me how angry you were watching them go over their match beat by beat. Because those guys have been in the business forever at this point. Is he there? Did, did his you, phone break up? Did you? Did you drive? No, I hear you. What did oh, you, say? What okay. did you say? I hear you. No, he was just what he was. What, what no, he was he, saying, AJ, he is me. that he heard me. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You yeah. know what I was saying is, is that well, it, it, I was angry because uh, I'm old school. Like we don't call a lot of shit. Like Marco knows. Like I mean, me and Marco can get in there even at our fucking fattest, heaviest weight and probably now. just do it in the ring for five minutes, you know, because the timekeeper, Blake Chad was watching and you know, <laughs> now listen, five listen, minutes and be good. I I'll agree to that. That's five minutes with entrance. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> A brother, I might look thin. I'm, I am not in shape. You don't. I saw a picture of you sitting with the baby. I said, Ooh, Ooh he don't look good. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh shit! That's it's, coming from me. Oh man, the sack of shit that he filmed eating a burger. God damn! All of a sudden, a fucking push wow. up doesn't feel so bad. <laughs> wow. But no, yeah, yeah, we could just get in there, and he, it would it would probably not look good at all, but we could get through it. <laughs> right, right. So 
so Billy, like we we you know we didn't we didn't have that conversation before the match. There was no talking. Uh, we didn't talk about anything because that's just how we were kind of raised, you know, brought up in the business. So um, I was just angry watching, like, because look, you know, guys that have been around for 10, 15 years should know how to work like that. And I get there's certain spots you may need to call, but, you know, going over everything, like, you know, and, and I blame Beast for that because he's ugly, but, you know. <laughs> it's it's weird. Just, it's it's even worse. I mean, and, and, and listen, I've not this is not like talking shit or nothing but it's even worse because they're not just two guys that have been in the business like 10 15 years they're two guys that have been in the business side by side for 10 or 15 years they literally have worked each other so many fucking times that it should be automatic like well, you know right but here's the only other thing i could think of is their partners have not been oh so okay yeah there you go and they're just kind of showing I, them I, right right maybe they were just like because it was them but like like, I, do I, I honestly think I can get in the ring with both those guys and not call a thing and we can have a match? I really do believe they can. Uh, but, and it, and it wasn't, it wasn't even really them that made, it was even the younger guys that made me mad. Like, watching them literally go spot for spot for spot, like, over and over. And, and I'm like, I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast. I didn't remember that day. You always remember what you ate for breakfast. Right. I could, I could, I, I I could just imagine can't. you were like you were like a spot away from watching two guys just practice the universal spot. <laughs> Fucking. Like, Let's walk it, through it this. It drives me insane. It drives me insane. <laughs> hey, they're walking through universals, man. We're good. <laughs> right. So, so me and Billy don't even talk about this, which, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we don't have to. So, anyway. As the match was getting closer, I'm like, oh, I started like my stomach is grumbling. I got like, I was like, I feel like I have to pee. So I went outside and peed, but I peed like twice from match one to our match because I was so nervous. I, I had to pee. So we, uh, we get out there and, uh, I'll tell you when, when I came out in the crowd, like I knew nobody was really going to know who I was. Like, I mean, there was a couple people there that were old fans and then my family and then you guys, uh, and also Dwayne Long. Yes, it's been long. Um, <laughs> Somehow selling but, selling a, a pictures of of wrestlers way older than uh, the people, and you know, they, right. no one who everybody well, in that building. Well, here, 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 <laughs> although the interesting thing about Dwayne was that uh, uh, I was I went on Facebook and I I saw him post that he had got a pacemaker installed like yes. three days earlier. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah he so told me. so I was like, and he was like up springing around. He was he looked healthier than either of us. He really did. did. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, was, I was impressed. It is the first time I'd ever met his wife. Maker. And he said that was he was at another show yesterday, like in Central Florida. Yeah. Like, like this wasn't even like I don't even think he took a day off from getting a pacemaker to be in a wrestling show. Right. Right. Fucking, and, and we're over there dying. <laughs> yeah. AJ's taking a bump and he's he's like, ah, why? <laughs> oh, right. He's got a pacemaker put in one day prior. <laughs> yeah. So, so we get in the ring, whatever you know, and you were there. Uh, I, 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 there's just a couple things I remember about this that like really stand out about the match. One is the fear on Ben's face when the match started because Billy literally called you out. Where's Ben Temples? Well, for th <laughs> well for like over a month, you two have been threatening to involve me in this match some way, either for me to be the guest referee or Billy's threatening to brawl, take the brawl out into the crowd and over towards me right. and have me get caught up in the fucking melee. So when he comes out and he comes out to his music and then he's, he's about to, I think he gets in the ring, but then yeah, he's he like walking around, around looking Scanning the audience, yelling, "Where's Ben Temples?" <laughs> it was the best. It's like, because the bill. Okay, so there's about I don't know. I'd say like 60, 70 people there. No, there was. It was a big crowd, man. It, it was it packed the full. building. I did a head count. There was well over a hundred people, but I don't know how many paid. But yeah. I, you know what I mean. Okay, it, so you got that many people in the building, and you got Billy. Billy's screaming, "Where's Ben Temples?" And and, and I'm laughing because I'm like, "There's three people here." That are having a time of their life. Who knows what the fuck Billy's right. talking about? Like, like a, <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody knows me there. And uh, I'm standing behind like the, all the chairs, uh, you know. So there's like four rows of chairs in front of me, filming it with the camera. And when he says that, I duck down to my knees. You did. 
it and just hold, keep holding the phone up above my head it was, to keep filming to try and hide behind everybody in front of me. It was so entertaining. And this asshole goes, <laughs> he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think everybody who knew you turned and pointed at you. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Everyone. Oh, your whole family. My mom's did. like, he's right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. My mom <laughs> even outed you out. Yeah. yeah. But by the way, I let your mom know I have not lifted the keto curse on her, and uh, <laughs> and and uh, I even told her that I said, yeah, I haven't lifted the curse on you yet. You're gonna keep getting fat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so now what's funny about the referee thing, I, I forgot about this. When I got there, I was getting dressed and Randy Eller, who is a referee who's in WCW, uh, comes up to me and says, uh, me and Billy and says, where's Ben? And I said, Ben who? He said, Ben Temples. I said, uh, he's coming. He goes, well, is he really reffing the match? <laughs> and, and Billy said, ah, that pussy ain't wrestling wrestle the match. <laughs> right? So Randy, Eller thought, he goes, you're shitting me. He goes, I actually brought a shirt. I thought he was wrestling the match. Oh, my Babe, God. you could have refed. Oh, my God. And here's the other thing. Uh, uh, Randy doesn't, I mean, I think we're friends on Facebook, but he doesn't know right. me by sight. And th- I'll tell you why. Because when uh, when the, right, I think was while you guys were dressing in that little office area, I walked by the curtain and saw through the curtain right. that Billy was in there. So I poke my head through the thing and I go, Psst, Billy, just to say hi to him. And Randy sees me like and thinks I'm just some random fan and starts shutting the door. <laughs> and uh, Billy goes, I got your shirt right here. So now it all makes sense. <laughs> I thought he was I thought, <laughs> I thought he was just fucking with me. Like, I got your ref shirt. Like, no, there was a ref shirt there. Oh, my God, bro. It would have been listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. In 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 retrospect, like now that it's all happened, I'm really mad we didn't do a thing where like Billy goes for the kick and uh you know, I distract him while like you hit out Eller and then AJ comes from behind with a little like fucking roll up, you count the one, two, three, and we all jet out. <laughs> listen, I didn't want to No one would have cared. It would have been fun. Here's the thing. Nobody knows who the fuck I am, so it means nothing to anybody there. Two, nothing that happened on two, Saturday meant anything to anyone. That's true, because it happened on Sunday. Anyway That's true it did. <laughs> But also, I didn't want to disrespect Anna's charity show yeah. and be uh, the guy that's horn-shoeing his way onto her show. Yeah. She doesn't know who I am. She didn't book me. Also, first time I've ever done anything in front of people on the in the ring or whatever and for me to cock it up or something or whatever you know i just didn't want to i didn't want to be the reason anything oh, went wrong you were just you're, quit your shit you were scared yeah I, I'm, <laughs> listen all that aside i just didn't want to be anywhere near billy's strike do you do you know do you, <laughs> do you know why it would it would never have happened because dan would have shit a brick dan would never have let that shit fly <laughs> Yeah. I love well, that so, guy. So anyway, so Randy Eller thought you were really repping, which is hilarious. That is, that is fantastic. Hilarious. So then, absolutely hilarious. So then all right, so the match starts and Billy's notorious for kicking people in like the leg. So we go to like kind of like do like a test of strength and I'm literally in my head going, All right, he, I'm bracing myself. He's gonna kick me in my left leg. Typical Billy, vintage Billy. And what does Billy do? He kicks me in the fucking chest. <laughs> It's top and five funniest things I've ever seen in my life. And you, the on right the vi- on the video, all you could hear is you cackling. I, I, but, I so lost I was my say shit. I watched it. To, I watched it today, and the minute he kicks me in the chest, all I hear is you. Rah! You were dying laughing. I was having so much fun because yeah. I just, I just like right off the bat, I'm like, yeah, this is a, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Billy was just going to rib you for kicked, five fucking mi- or ten minutes. Right. And he kicked me and he hit me right in the, in the left nipple. Oh, my and God. His like, his, like, foot hit my nipple. So I, if you watch the video, I'm laughing. And uh, somebody had said after, they go, I know it hurt because you were laughing. You weren't even selling. I was <laughs> like, this motherfucker. He really kicked me. <laughs> he really kicked me. Uh, it's all right. You got him back. As much as you ever well, get well, Billy yeah. Fives back. I mean, he... Right, right. And I kicked him in the leg, and then he 
chopped me and i mean that chop he hit me with was ridiculous oh it was so loud in the building that chop that was and it, what that wasn't the chop that you uh i think later you chopped him back it wasn't after that one i did Oh no 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 yeah there wasn't there no, was, it was later it was there later. was no receipt not when he had you down in the front corner and uh, well, I think he, he chopped me yeah right but and then, then I chopped him when we went outside the ring yeah that was <laughs> and then two more times inside the ring but he chopped me back twice Ben Ben uh, Ben's favorite part of the match is when you rolled Billy back into the ring <laughs> because when oh, they were why? outside the ring my first thought was oh here we go oh yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> If you watch, <laughs> if you watch the video, as soon as they roll out of the ring, I kind of start to reposition myself. I'm like trying to think which way are they going to go because I don't want to be in the path, you know, of, of this. Like you could, you could, you could ask Madison, uh, uh, Billy's daughter. I am just having the best time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you laughing the entire time. It's be, it was great because like when you rolled out, I was like, "Here, I could." But then when we rolled him back in, I went, "Oh, look at, look at Anthony <laughs> saving his boy Ben." There was no rolling out. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got Billy's first baseball slide ever. Yeah, dude, that was that well, was that was stiff. <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, yeah, so we we did the match, whatever you know. Billy Billy wins. He goes over because you know. I mean, you know, can't. Still can't put the young guy over all these years. Uh, but that, you're retiring, sir. I, I don't know because no, no, I no. Think we'll, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Oh, so oh, oh no! I I, uh, I got my tumbo over so, here. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, I did, actually did put my finger up just so you know. Like I so did I. <laughs> so did I. My finger. Up. I got it virtually and in person. That's awesome. Right. I actually really did it in the car. <laughs> right so I. Uh, I, so the match happened, whatever. I, I will tell you, I was out of breath. I could not breathe. My heart was going so... After he pinned me, I laid there and was like... I thought to myself, my heart's got to be like 190 beats per minute. Like, I'm probably almost dead. Well, Bill, Because it was... Billy saw, at one point, I think near the end there, he saw how hard you were... He, I think he heard how hard you were breathing and saw your... your I think his description yeah. was your big gut going up and down. And, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what he told you. Oh, all right, we're going to... I think we're calling it. <laughs> but we're, yeah, pr did. we're proud did. of you, big guy. You you got through it. I made it. I made it alive. I uh, I finished the match. I did better than Fat Shitso Siazzo, who only lasted 45 seconds with Billy. Yeah, so still one of the best I lasted, stories. Uh, it's a 10-minute video, but, you know, Blake Chadwick just wanted to let everybody know it was only a six-minute match because, you know, he had to tell everybody that. Well, you know, because what we wanted for me was a 12-minute classic. <laughs> right. Like, and I'm like, Blake, what did you expect? Like, right, Sean, like Iron Man X? Like, what were you thinking, pal? And it's funny, too, because, like, before you showed up at the after party, um, Billy was kind of talking about the match, and I'm like, um, and they were talking about, you know, he asked you if you wanted to call anything. Um, because I asked him, I'm like, like, AJ didn't want to he call did. the drop kick, and he's like, he's like, no, he didn't want to do shit. And I'm like, oh, he's like, yeah, I, he's I, like, I, I, I asked yeah. him, what, what do you got? Yeah, and he's like, I don't have anything. Yeah. I, don't have... <laughs> I just want this said, to be he over. Said, he said, what do you want to do? Anything? And I said, Billy, I haven't wrestled in two years. I don't have anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. He's like, nothing. I was like, yeah, I got nothing. And it was weird because I didn't think about it afterwards. I'm like, hey, he didn't even do the drop kick. It's yeah. like the only thing he does do. It's like, like the, the <laughs> trademark like, signature. Like if, there, if he has a if he has a trademark, it's that. But then it made me realize I'm yeah, like, I don't know. Like, if, I don't know if you could do a drop kick right now. <laughs> right. That's like that's like telling like Jimmy Snooker to go to the top rope at 70 years old to drop a splash. Like it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> it's more like it now asking him to do it. Now he's a coffin drop. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For he'd have to yeah, dig so, out six feet under. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I was like, that's not happening, pal. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but anyway, the match was fine. I, I was I was out of breath for sure. But I I did. I will tell you, I thought I did. In my head, I did better than I thought I would. I really truly thought I would be dead in the first minute. And oh, I we all did. Through, so. We all did. It was. Yeah, uh... I mean. It was it it was it was it was uh, of the night of the of the what the five match card it was six a uh, six match card um it was my uh second favorite now, the main event was was very good yeah um Anna yeah and, well, was, and I will tell you Anna and that King girl are really good Kyle, I, and, I, and, Kyle, Kyle yeah. yeah I mean I mean like, they were they were almost as stiff as you guys. honestly honestly 
I, I that match was over. I look. You can you can ask him. I looked right at Billy and I went. I was like, Anna Diaz is a little Billy Fives. Like she has your imprint all over her all, all right. over yeah, the way she been, works. It it. I feel like that finish was a Billy Fives finish. I feel like she's worked <laughs> with him a lot. And, yeah. And apparently, according to him, they talk a lot. Yeah. But she consults him about stuff. So uh, that would be. I so, mean, right. that'd be a pretty cool final legacy for Billy if Anna actually ever was able to go do something and and right. and was, she works the way she works. That was a very impressive yeah. match. Although from what I hear she might have issues. That really that 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 getting that, a gig. that that really sucks by the way. Yeah. Um to to think that 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 you know in today's in today's like woke fucking bullshit society that that would be a deterrent. Well, it's also the overcautious society, yeah. you know, of of everyone worried about someone getting hurt or being at risk right. of getting hurt when you have someone that's I mean she's throwing a a a fundraiser for epilepsy because yeah. that's what she has uh and i it's going to be hard if no one no major promotion would touch her because of that i really but i i think yeah. i think she'll land somewhere i mean she's she might end up being too good for someone to resist you know like i think so well, and, and, I, and i will tell you this i will tell you just being back i never met her before it was my first time uh a couple things one she uh definitely saying she's like billy she is very quick witted, and when like Billy talking shit to her, giving it right back. I said a couple things like not even knowing me, giving it right back. Like very quick with that, like good jabs. She was giving good shots at us. That's good. Two, uh, two. I will say, like I think she handled. She ran that show. Uh, Gang Girl said she did it all by herself, and I think she did a way better job than ninety nine percent of promoters, including when I was a promoter. She was really like. Everything talking about she only wanted to have a certain amount of matches. Like she was, uh, I was super impressed with her, yeah. and I don't even know her, so I will say I was definitely impressed with her. Um, I was actually impressed with like there was two other work guys I'd never seen before. The one who wrestled Gangrel looks like a million bucks. He really and does. There was another kid, right? There was another kid too, a Spanish kid who that like, first match, right? The Damien, like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that yeah, kid, him. that. that that kid's got fucking he's got money on him, man. Well, I told Billy, I said right. I went to this show because I know it's not a quote student show, but there were right. it, like it was people she knew and obviously for a fundraiser you weren't gonna go out and, and get fly someone in and pay them a thousand dollars to yeah. work it. Uh right. I but I, I was I said I was really surprised that at how many people actually look like wrestlers. Yeah. You know, compared to right. a, 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 a most indie shows, and really, really for the most part, the matches were good. Well, the guy that worked Dave, like Billy was saying, is from Bulgaria. He's trying to follow the Rusev path. Uh, Rusev or, or, or yeah. Rusev's Miro, Miro, his, excuse me, Miro's his hero, uh, and so it's his dream to train with the same guy that trained him. Mm. And so this is right. like he's just living oh, his sorry. dream right now. The, yeah. the match, the yeah, match, that. the match. Oh, because I didn't know anything. So the match to me. Just being like ignorant dude in the corner who doesn't know anything about what's going on in the wrestling business in fucking South Florida for six years. Um, it almost seemed like he was going like to send off to TV it or did something. Feel like, like he, yeah. like, like he. Oh, I finally get to work my, you know, my mentor, and then I'm going off to like greener, which I 100 percent hope he goes to. He fucking so, looks so great. Can I, can I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the fame again here because. Uh, that kid thought he was going under because that's the finish they called that Dave was going to go over. Oh, really? Dave put him over. Yes, the kid did not know he was going over. Oh, so wow. the finish was the impaler. When he pinned Dave in the three was counting, that was true emotion because he didn't know that was happening. That was Dave's way of saying, like, it's time for you to, like, go on to greener pastures, kid. Like, you're... you're so it kind of was a little bit. Yeah. School. Right, that's right. fucking so awesome, man. Spot on. That's really right. fucking so the kid awesome. Thought he, was, he thought he was going under to the impaler the whole time. Yeah, holy shit. All right, so I thought the show was fantastic. Like, I it's funny because uh, uh, Chris Nelson was there, classy Chris, uh, old school, been around forever, and I was talking to him after, and I said, you know, I don't, I don't really like, you know, hang around the business anymore. Uh, I don't know any of these guys. I've never seen half of them before, um, but. I had this like feeling of like uh like I want I I wanted to help out. Like I wanna help these guys. Like I wish I lived closer because I, I feel like I could help some of these guys and, and not just because like I, I like that part about wrestling, but of course like I wouldn't want to be there all the time because I would get annoyed. But uh <laughs> You're a once you a know, month guy. 
right, right. But like to see that these kids were like hungry and respectful, like everybody was super respectful and cool. Um, except for, you know, we'll get to lose Spectre in a second. But uh I thought everybody was cool. Now the show was great. The after party, our little after party was great. We got to all hang out. Billy told stories. It was fantastic. Um, a lot of ben fun. now knows that Flex Magnum loves to eat uh, hooker vagina. Um, oh, you just learned that? I just I didn't hear the story of how he likes to. Uh, oh man, likes to be of that's, service. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I I felt like Ben was uh, disturbed by it a little mm. bit. I mean, it's a shock to hear that. <laughs> yeah, you were a little disturbed about it. Yeah, I can see it by your face. He's got. But, little, uh, I mean, so, it, I'm not surprised that that uh, he he would want to be involved with hookers. I just I don't know anyone that wants to. Uh, like, they're getting paid to do something. You don't you don't do them any favors. Listen, man, he's got he's got little little muff diving hooker water wings, man. Oh he wears. God, oh <laughs> Jesus, that's funny. Well, now let's get to let's get to our, our uh, you know our, our boy Lou Spector there. Yeah, do we have to. So, well, I, well, I want to hear this story with Billy. So, so Lou Spector, let's just give it over to you. Somebody's been around the business in Florida forever. Uh, how he got there, I don't know. Who let him in, I don't know. Who let him stay, I don't know. But he's around all the time, forever, and he's. How would you describe him? I I he said I said to Billy and whoever was there at the time. Oh, because Madison didn't. It wasn't ringing a bell bell, bell to Madison. Uh, but of right. course she had. She knows who Lou is. She just couldn't picture him. I said he is the walking textbook definition visually of a venereal disease. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is I mean, am I, just, I right? I described him to. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. I described him to my uh, partner at work, uh, uh, Zach, as a worm tongue from uh, Lord of the Rings. Worm tongue, yeah. yeah. See, we get that. He has. Uh, yeah. Right now, things no. are <laughs> flying right over his head. Sorry, that's dude. That was a. Language. Yeah. That, that was a the, 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 you know, so, literature moment. So, okay. So, I'm in the locker room with, with Billy, and Lou walks in. And he goes, he walks in, he looks at me, he gives me, like, the finger point, first of all, which is, like, who the fuck are you to finger point? Doesn't shake my hand, nothing. Finger points and goes, I don't know you were going to be here. And Billy goes, the fuck do you mean you didn't know? You posted about it saying you hope we both lose. So <laughs> this motherfucker acted like he didn't know I was going to be there. Comes in hot with bullshit. About it. Comes in hot with bullshit. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, and I didn't even say, I was like, what? And Billy was like, well, you, fuck get out of here. And he like left. Um, he like just walked out, like totally just no soul what Billy said. And Billy's like, he literally made that post yesterday saying he hopes we both lose. Like, he knew you were going to be here. Like, why would you come in and say that? Like, like, this didn't make, like I don't get it. I don't understand. Just like an icebreaker or something. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's... But not even like, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Literally, that's what, like, I didn't know you were going to be here. And Billy's like, you're full of shit. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. Lou, has been around forever. He's never done anything to me or, like, He's just, I just, I feel very uneasy around him, like, well, all the time. Of of the three of us podcasting new, he, I mean, now, right, the second, uh, two have almost fought him, and right. and then there's you. So, <laughs> right. Two I, of us, two right. of us have wonderful histories. I was him. restrained from trying to beat the shit out of him. At a wedding. At Broder's wedding. Uh. Uh, mm. At the after wedding, yeah, whatever and, you call that, yeah, and he at, was wandering the parking lot at the War Memorial, screaming my name into the darkness yeah. while I was being escorted out of the building. Yeah. <laughs> so, such a he is just such a spuzzy, spuzzy Listen, dude, I told you, I, I I told you in the thread. I tried to tell you the night is, uh, uh, so Billy left. Billy left, and it was me, you, Natalia, Beast, Trevor. Uh, and Huss were all in the circle talking, and from my peripheral, I saw Lou come around the tent because everyone was getting dressed in the tent behind the building, and I saw him and like two other guys come around. I saw him like come to the, the from the grass to the parking lot, and he stopped. And listen, man, I, I've you know I've I've had like daggers and um shot at me from fucking people for a long time, fifteen years in the wrestling business. You know, you 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 can tell when someone's like staring you fucking down. 
and, right, right, and, and right. he's just staring our whole group down, and then he just jets off in a huff. He was probably taking a mental, like making a mental list to then go tell. You know, go tell somebody. All I saw so and 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 so. Like all I know is, um, uh, you guys left because you left with Huss, and as we're wandering, as we as we go around the corner, um, halfway to get to the tr- the, the car because we parked the 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 warehouses, we parked like the next warehouse down because there was like no fucking parking. Yeah, I remember because I came with you. Yeah. Well, no, no, no I'm painting the picture <laughs> for everybody listening. Okay. Um and. Uh, when I turned the corner, I saw him at the other end walking back towards me. And there's me, him, my wife, and no one else oh, on these road cars. And I'm sitting I would have been so mad if you beat the shit out of him and I didn't get to see it. I, and, and I'm thinking to myself. And you missed it. I'm <laughs> literally thinking to myself. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Like, do we do we do this? Are we dancing? Do we do, do, we do, do, we do this? Do we do this now? Or, or do I get my wife in this car and do we just go to the after party? And what I decided on was... If he initiates contact, I'm going to beat this man's ass right now. Nobody has to watch. I'll just shove his body behind a car and drive off. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to get in the car with my wife and go to the party. And and he was he uh you you he, he wears like the same. Remember back in like the early 2000s, the, those uh, uh over shirts with the fucking blue sparklies and shit. Yeah, like you can get some hot topic. A club he's, shirt. Yeah. He's wearing yeah. He's wearing that. The same thing he's worn the fucking the fucking 20 years I've known this motherfucker. Probably leather right. pants. Right. It's, black it's leather almost pants like the only thing he owns. Yeah. And, and well, I, well, he's yeah. it's his gimmick. Oh, quote unquote. Fuck, his yeah. gimmick is a terrible pedophile. No, he looks like a. Oh! Yeah, he looks oh, like a he looks like a a guy in in Eastern Europe uh, discotheque that would drug someone's drink. It was just insane to me that that I haven't been to a wrestling show in like five fucking years. I walk into a building and there's Lou Specter at ringside. Oh, I saw him first. I mumbled to you, "Up, oh, Lou Specter's here!" And, and and every bone in my body went like, "Oh fuck, this is gonna this is this is inevitable at this point because we hadn't seen each other since then." And and that's why when like when we got in the car and he and he just walked past, I'm like, I don't even think he noticed me. And I'm like, okay, I can calm down now because I was hundred percent ready to like call you and go, hey, you may have to turn around and, and provide a witness statement. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, my well, anger, my anger towards Lou like will never go away, and it, re- it was really the most unfortunate part of the evening because it was kind of it was fun. The show was good. Well, I I I thought well, Lou's because when we came. They were having the the pre show match, because uh, like we got there, I looked, I said, I thought this thing started. Yes, at right. We were like four, and there was already wrestling happening. Uh, and Lou was managing someone for that, which, according to what we've heard, he just showed up and demanded that that was, or said that that was just going to happen. Oh, yeah, he's such a. All right, right, we'll get to that in a second. But so I'm thinking, like, well, hopefully this is his only involvement with the show, and we don't have to see him after that. And that was the case. If he had come out and managed someone else later, it would have put a stink on the evening. Just, yeah, you're not missing having, me in that building. <laughs> just, right. just having to, just having to, like, see him. More. Like, like, literally, but, I had you to. You know see, what, though? What. We we should probably stop talking about it. We don't want to upset Blake that we're talking about his friend like this. Oh yeah, his buddy, his oh, man. his Facebook chat buddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. The, all the back and forth <laughs> on their posts. He's fucking like Blake's never met a guy that he can't uh, he can't uh, play nice politics <laughs> with in the business. Like like just you don't have to be nice to everyone. There's nothing in this tiny pond that we call South Florida wrestling that if you said hey man go fuck yourself i don't want to have anything to do with you that's gonna affect anything in your career like just fucking just you know you don't have to be everybody's buddy you have to play nice get over it and it was it was weird too though because like so there was a point there was a point like right afterwards where i'm sitting there and i'm just like you know this felt really cool and like it's just the maybe it's because I haven't done it and been around it forever, and I was like, you know, like I would totally like if you I got wanted, a little romantic twin, a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then I, but then Billy, I had a conversation with Billy where he was just like, yeah, I don't really come around because, like, you know, fuck Lou. And I'm like, right, I'm like, right. oh my god, like, like first off, I didn't realize Billy hated Lou that much, which you know, yeah, Billy used awesome. to come and help all the time at yeah, fucking Gang Girls, yeah, exactly, old place. So it, like that was enough to. To you know, deter him, I'm like, there's no way I'm making it if Billy ain't gonna come. Right. Like, right, right. <laughs> like, like if Billy says no, and I'm just like, God damn it, it's it, wow. So but. AJ, what was the what was the, what was the story with Lou like initially with the like 
Ask no, I, I guess he just put himself. He just put himself. No, he didn't ask. He just put himself a dark match with some guy that he brought, and and they did the they did the dark match. Like he wasn't even invited, but but it, which is typical. He does that shit. He's been doing it for years. Oh but, wait, so he just, they weren't re- gonna have a dark match? No, no, there was no dark match. Oh, Lou Spector forced yeah. that. Yeah. How did wow. fu- how did people allow this shit? How? I don't know. Right, he's involved right. with CCW. So, how somehow. can a person who he's literally brings with, nothing to the table? Me, he's involved with CCW somehow. It's the CCW right, building. It's not their show, but it's their building. Them, so. so whatever. Right. Fuck so it. anyway, I, we've talked way too much about him. Well, you, him listen, you much. all started this, okay? I told you not to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was a really fun. It was, it was a fun night. It was a great show. Fun. It, it, it uh, really now, was. Now, talking about my future in wrestling. Uh-oh. Uh oh. F O W future wrestling. Oh no. Oh no. I got excited and may have told I may have said that I would tag with Billy to work Trevor and his partner only because I liked their entrance and it was like fun and I thought Steve like, or something? Could, what was the guy's name? Yeah, right, Steve. That we could do something where like I could do all the comedy with them and Billy could just be the pissed off guy who just kicks people in the head. And right. maybe even kicks me in the head at one point because he's so mad that I'm you know, fooling around too. I don't know why you would volunteer that idea, but okay. Yeah, I don't know either, but <laughs> I did anyway. Uh, then at then I, you know, there was talks of I may have said something at the table at dinner yes. about when having we were, a rematch when we were eating our free burgers. Yes. Oh, sorry, Marco. Um, that uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that uh, I put right. myself a little deeper tonight because I of that. I overheard and then in inserted myself into the conversation they were having about having a rematch between Billy I said, I said it. between Billy and right. Anthony. So AJ AJ so basically according to what I saw, AJ has committed himself to rematch. And I think we're Right, but here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. One of you assholes said you were gonna call powers in TK. Who said that? You? I no, we suggested that you First of all, Billy said he would fly up to work you at Turbo, which is their promotion. Right. So, Here's and then question. you started to like get a little like hemming and hawing at the idea of this actually happening. So I said, "Well, I'll call, I'll call Josh, or, or I'll contact Josh or TK, and uh, and make sure this happens because they know Billy. They, okay, they so know Billy too. So did you contact him? No, yeah. I didn't yet because I figured I'd give you guys a chance to arrange it. Why? Oh, oh, because. TK commented on the Breakfast Club post today and said, I'd book Billy. And my first thought was that motherfucking temple. Told nope, him. didn't. Oh, that's organic. Didn't. That's organic 100%. That's, that's just, that's, oh, let, that's fate. This is oh, the, my God. This is the secret. This is wanting it until it happens. <laughs> You're just self realization oh, uh, self materialization or whatever it's called. <laughs> Dude, I haven't reached out. I to, thought you. Absolutely not. Yeah, he said that. That's and 100% like, organic, buddy. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know I'm not reaching out to anybody. Well, I'm going to find that comment and then tag Billy underneath it and make sure he I wrote it. no. I wrote no. <laughs> I commented as the Breakfast Club thing and said no. Well, no. I'm I'm tagging. No means yes. I'm tagging Billy when we get off and making sure Billy's aware and then let Billy no. like conduct a little business. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, could no. you imagine Billy doing business? <laughs> Billy said he'd come up and do it. Oh, my God. No, he, 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 no, and he no. wasn't even drunk. He wasn't. That's he was right. That was a sober thought. Yeah. So, so this will definitely happen. I'm very excited for. Uh, I don't think I can travel to North Carolina to launch this. Well, first of all, it's South Carolina. Second of all, you need a license. <laughs> Billy won't get the license, so I'm good. Oh. oh. Okay. But he said he'd come up to Atlanta too. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? There's no promotions here. What happened? There's no promotions here. They what? don't run wrestling in Atlanta. What happened? You they just... don't run a wrestling in Atlanta. <laughs> so okay, so it sounds like you don't want to wrestle anymore. Yeah. No, I want to tag with him, not wrestle. Oh. Well, I didn't say. Well, I look. Here's the. This is. I the... still have handprints on my chest. Okay. <laughs> this is the. I. <laughs> to be but... fair, you're gonna have to wait another year or two for another like cancer show. So. Yeah. This. It's not a cancer. Yeah. It's epilepsy. Oh, okay. Jesus, Jesus Christ. I'm listen. Christ. I'm doing my best here. I knew it was for a disease. It's. Well, I don't think epilepsy is a disease. Oh man, I, I, all right. I, I, let's, I, let's I get back on track yeah, that's here. a. We're, I'm we're gonna like. Canceled. There's all yeah, nothing but ignorance on this corner. If we keep going, because <laughs> <laughs> we're all talking out of our ass. <laughs> some, some of us more yeah. than others. 
<laughs> it's how I'm sustained. All right. So, so, uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't happening. He ain't coming. To, he won't wrestle for powers. I don't have to worry about he that. He will. I'm going to make this all happen. I'll forge. Although, listen, if you can I get did a, make the mistake of telling him it was at a brewery, and I feel Billy would get the physical, get the license just to come hang out and wrestle at a brewery because yeah. they do give free beer. Listen, if, if, if all he has to do is go see a doctor and I can handle all the other paperwork, I'll take care of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you are a fucking dick. Uh, the best part about all those AJs, Ben will do all the work and then not go. No, I'll go. Oh, okay. I'll go. <laughs> He's just going to, like, shake the pit bull I'll go. ship no, it no, to cause, you? Because <laughs> I, I, I'll, like, we came up with a spot that I want to be involved with now. Oh, no. Oh, Ben, it's a false oh. sense of security. No, this is where – no, this is where – uh AJ's knocked out, and instead of smelling salts, I crack a donut under his nose. You're still within kicking distance of Billy. It's yeah, but I you. think you guys are going to be <laughs> – but this was a discussion of them two tagging, I think, or something. I don't know. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Billy's going to kick his friends. He loves kicking his friends. That's all right. It's, all right. it's like a pastime. I, right. Listen, I think maybe I come out with you guys – Padded up. With oh like, my god! With also like one of those like Norman uh, Smiley <laughs> with one of those padded, yeah. padded boxing sparring oh hats. Oh my god! And everyone's like, "What's with him?" And it's because Billy occasionally will just pop out of the ring and <laughs> kick me once and then kick go back you. in the ring. Oh yeah. my god! All right, let's, let's stop this nonsense. I, I have a. I, All right, we're I have, done. I, I have a child yeah, to go I, to I, do. I got nothing left. He's got a child to tend to. I gotta take a shit. Well, wait, wait. You could go. I need to ask you what. So physically, how are you feeling afterwards? Oh no! Because I know I you... actually feel I feel fine today. Oh, I I'll let Billy know. Fine. I'll let Billy know you feel great. Yeah. That no, no longer... after the show, I didn't. I felt bad after the show, yeah. but yeah, I noticed you couldn't sit fine. much during during no, I while we were the eating and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be proud, no, no, brother. Today. I'm good. <laughs> eat those, I'm good today. Eat those delicious free burgers we had. <laughs> oh, you said the bitches. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, you can go fuck All off. All right, I'm done. Goodbye. Let you give give your baby one of your nipples to suck because, on. Because I did this, I I'm not gonna be able to do anything tomorrow when I get home from work. I'm gonna have to. I'm on baby duty all day. Oh, Mister Negotiations over. Yeah, this was my negotiation. This is sad. <laughs> all right. This is sad. This is sad. Did you hear all that? I heard it. Oh my god, what a life! God. What a life he signed on for. Well, you know what? F- I, I'm glad he had to pay for his burger now. That fat neck baby. <laughs> he de- yeah, he deserves it. He does. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, All right. I, I'm, yeah, I got I, nothing else. Oh, we forgot to talk. Wait a minute. We forgot yeah. the, about the funniest thing from the whole fucking trip. What's that? The hug. <laughs> but I, you gotta t- I, don't make me laugh because right now my <laughs> current situation is I have to shit and I'm picking up Nick from practice. He said 7.15. They're not done practicing and the doors are locked. I can't even go into the school and take a dump. You might have to go shit in the bushes like the old... No, I'm, I'm old, limping back to my car. Old Gainesville right days. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm limping back to my car and I'm going to go to Publix, which oh, is across you, the street. Are you walking? Are you are you waddling like your old man to a fucking place? To I am. Shit? I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. No, it's locked. it's locked. Yeah. It was supposed to be seven fifteen, but there's still. I can see them still practicing. Yeah. Yeah. Are you asking me? I got to take a shit. This could stop me. <laughs> so at the end of the. And, yeah. I'm limping. I'm limping right now. <laughs> well, that's your grizzled veteran walk. You're 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 channeling your inner Mick Foley. Um, so at the end of the night, when we're uh, when we're all like doing the goodbyes at the at the, right. at La Tub, the burger joint, uh, you and I go to give each other a, a bro hug, kind of deal, and our bellies collide, and we have to turn. Right. We literally have to turn. Like, hip to hip. We have to kind of both turn away from each other and let our bellies go side, to, like just slide along the side of each other to, to come in close right. enough for a hug. And we realize <laughs> it and we just started laughing so hard about how fat both of us are right now. <laughs> we literally could not hug. No. Because we were so fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Which, by the way, me, I know I'm fat, but then I saw you. Because you've been like, you know, back on keto for two weeks. I saw you and I was like, oh, I don't feel so fat. He's still fat. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I got to work on it. Oh, by the way, I, again, today I ate like shit because Billy made me eat a burger with bread and and french fries and all that. And then I'm off the diet. You know, I'm like, well, 
I'm off the yeah. diet for fucking. Okay. I, I will tell you, I, yeah, I'm literally, I am driving. Nick is gonna have to wait if he gets out now because I'm driving to Publix across the street. I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> Good. This is so funny. <laughs> Good yeah. fuck Nick. I mean, he's a dick. He deserves it. He tells me seven fifteen. If he would have told me seven thirty, I would have went straight to Publix to drop the deuce and then right. went. Well. This way we got more podcasting time in because uh, otherwise. Right. And he's going to have to wait now. So yeah. it's All right. even better. All right. Well, uh, I, I'm glad you survived. And I'm glad there's no like lingering like uh, yeah. like you're not having like blurred vision. or I, uh, No. Or, I, like, I will end it with this though. I thought today after I watched the match today finally. Yeah. Uh, I posted it on my YouTube page as well. And I, I thought I can do this. But then, like two hours later, I thought, man, I don't want to have to travel on weekends. And, like, I don't want to do that. And, like, I don't want to lose money because that's what you do. Like, I don't want to do any of that. Like, none of it. Now, I may reach out to Powers and say, look, it's a two-hour drive. I, I'll come do their shows because it's fun and I can, you know, kind of do what I want. But I, I don't I don't know if I really want to get back into it. It, it wasn't that exciting. I think it's that to, exciting. I think you have to leverage the uh, TikTok part of it to get people to pay for you to come right. to like well, England or something. So I got a message this week. I didn't tell you this. The guy is a fan of mine on TikTok. He is uh, lives next door to someone who runs a wrestling promotion in the UK. It's his neighbor. So he was like, "Hey, it's my neighbor." Uh, and the guy asked for your info, so I don't oh. think you fly me out. But oh, well, you know. well, two hundred fifty thousand followers with uh, what? Right. I don't know. Like fifty percent of them are from the UK. Uh, no, seventy three percent of of all of wow. your followers. Two hundred fifty thousand followers. Seventy. I look today. Seventy three percent are in the UK. Oh well, that's. I mean, it's hard to turn that down. Should, right. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. But uh. Yeah, so I, I got to respond to him, but um, yeah, I'm I'm unbanned by the way. I'm, they they unbanned me. I'm back. So yeah, we're good. Well, you got to you got to step yeah. it up, man. You've been slacking. I, yeah, well, today I had some good videos. You need to go live too. But, all right, bud. Uh, all right, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah I gotta go. Go, go. go, go poop. Bye. We're moments away. Goodbye.